Acorns gift shop in the lobby of the Grand California Hotel, you will find two of the game boards for the extravaganza, one for the California Adventure Park, and then the other for the downtown Disney district. Turns out Disneyland has its own locations. We thought maybe you could score all three here, but Disneyland, you have to purchase it somewhere else. But for now, we get to start with two. Ta-da! So you have the California Adventure one, which has a few eggs on its own. And then you have the Downtown Disney one, which also has a couple more eggs. And it's gonna be fun to go through all of them. There's gonna be quite a lot of characters to pick out. Actually, it looks like they have the same amount of characters. The only one, this one has Lightning McQueen and Mater. This one has Jesse and Woody on it. Mmm. I like Lightning McQueen and Mater. Yeah. So I think our hunt is going to start in downtown Disney today, and then we're going to make our way to the other two parks to collect all the rest of the eggs, or hunt them. And then at the end, you can turn in your game boards for one of six collectible eggs. There's different characters that vary from year to year, so this year has all new characters, and 2020 was probably the only one where people couldn't get the eggs because there was no egg extravaganza. So what are we waiting for? Let's go to downtown Disney and start a hunt for all the eggs. There are three different game boards to choose from, each being $9.99, but if you're a key holder, you do get a discount, so that'll come in handy because the prices do add up if you're trying to collect all six prizes. For some families, it's a $10 well spent for an afternoon of egg hunting at Disneyland. With that being said, we're gonna kick our egg hunt off in downtown Disney at California Soul. Lucky for us, California Soul was literally right across from the Grand Californian, but we don't see an egg. Where are the eggs? Who are we looking for? You guys know where to keep fun egg? That's a good spot. Can we take that, can we take that whole egg home? Uh, that was a quick find. Definitely couldn't see him from outside. Some of these locations you are gonna have to walk inside the stores to be able to find the eggs, and some of them you might see from the outside, but Chip was hiding. So we've got all these character choices, but we gotta match the character we found in the location to the right store, so California Soul. But next up, Disney's Pin Traders. Let's go. Alright, so where these are, these are really good. They hit them really well. Otherwise, I'm just blind. I don't see it. Maybe maybe it's inside. I saw him. I see him. So we got Chip at the first location. We got Dale right here at the Pin Traders. Let's mark it off our sheet, shall we? Right there. So we got two locations down. Now we're going to go in order. Downtown Disney Live Stage is going to be next. So it is important to get the order of your locations down when you start because if you just go in the same order that all the locations are listed, you're going to be going all the way around Downtown Disney. So my best advice would be start at the Downtown Disney Live Stage, which is at one end over by the old ESPN zone, and then work your way down the list until you're all the way back at World of Disney to redeem your prize, because then you'll save a lot more time that way. And we already know who's the egg at the Downtown Disney Live Stage. It's Minnie. Another egg off our list. Minnie's on. Next stop, Jazz Kitchen. Maybe some beignets too. Maybe. Jazz Kitchen has some great food, but it is also the next location of our Easter egg of the egg extravaganza. So which character is going to be there? Well, it's kind of obvious. Well, that didn't take long. I was just walking by, not even making an effort to look, and I see Donald laughing at me. Wow. The culprit caught red-handed. You know what that means? The market. <laughs> look at this guy, trying to blend in next to the crocodile. It's not working. I see you. The real challenge is not in looking for these eggs, it's getting these stickers off. Four down, one third of the way. Next up, Tortilla Joe's. Which is actually right across from Jazz Kitchen, so lucky for us, we're just gonna walk over there. Is it gonna be obvious or is it gonna be a secret? Where are the huevitos? Donde? Huevitos. It's not outside, so we're gonna go inside. <laughs> where, where is this egg? I don't think it's here. Is this the Tortilla Joe's? We're just casually walking into Tortilla Joe's like we're customers. This family is also looking for the egg and they just walked into the dining room. So maybe we should follow them. All right, we're with you. We're trying to find the egg. <laughs> Where is it? <laughs> the hostess said something about the fountain. So let's go over there, check it out. Maybe it's like in a window or something? Yeah. Well, found the egg. It's all the way up there, second floor. Well, that was probably the most challenging egg so far. Woody's pretty good at hiding because we were struggling. You and your little handsome cowboy comb over can go right there. It looks like a thumb. <laughs> and that means the next one is Kenny's favorite place. So we're starting to see that some of these eggs are easier to find than others. Definitely wasn't the case with Tortillo Joe's, but Splitsville, it's kind of obvious where the egg's at. Isn't that right, Kenny? That's the guy. 
That's the guy who committed the crime, I'm assuming. That mugshot. He's in his orange jumpsuit with a black background. Looks identical. Let's mark him. There we go, another one off the board. See, when you're seasoned egg hunters like we are, did the Easter egg hunt every year at Easter, went on the lawn, snatched up those eggs. We know how to find them. Beat up the Easter bunny. <laughs> there is no Easter bunny pictures here, but you can find all the eggs that he left in downtown Disney and the parks. So, you might have to go to the mall still for your Easter bunny pictures. Pele soccer. I think that's what it's called. Pele? They gotta make these eggs harder to find. There's too many up on the balconies. Right there. It doesn't even look like Jesse, you think so? She kind of looks like a thumb too. <laughs> yep, identical. I think so. What place is next? Wetzel's Pretzels! Wetzel's Pretzels, and look who it is! It's very similar to Pele Soccer. They stuck Goofy right on the little balcony up there. So we're gonna get his little dorky face. We're gonna put it right on Wetzel's Pretzel. That means there's only four left, so let's hope these last remaining four are a little bit of a challenge because, I mean, these are frankly a little too easy. Your six-year-old might be challenged because they can't see that high, but for everyone else, they're, they're kind of easy to find. So let's go over to Napolini and then Jamba Juice after. So Napolini right next to California Soul. So we were actually here earlier and we got the White Rabbit right over there next to the sign, just like all the other ones. He's not exactly Peter Cottontail, but he's as close as we're gonna get, so we're gonna put the white rabbit right on top of Napolini. A boom And then actually, right across from Napolini is Jamba Juice. Oh no, I shouldn't have looked. I can see the egg from here. Sorry, Kenny, I was gonna give that one to you, but I stole it. So that leaves two locations left. World of Disney, which I believe is where we can redeem this game board for the prize, and then La Brea Bakery, which is just a little bit past it. But those are yours, Kenny, you can do you can find the characters, hopefully they're a challenge. All right, La Brea Bakery, here we are. Find the egg. The second to last one. <laughs> well, as you'd expect, you know. Thumper, what are you doing all the way up there? Why, why do you only have one tooth? I'm pretty, what? I'm pretty sure in the movie he has two teeth. Oh man. I don't know, he only has one tooth. That's rough. One slot left, World of Disney. I mean, I guess we could assume who it is, but we're gonna go find the egg anyway. All right, if you were a mouse egg, where would you be hiding? By some cheese? By a hole in the wall? I don't know. What do you think? Hmm. Maybe, I don't know. He's, I mean, he's kind of everywhere. Can't get rid of him. He's just eyes everywhere. I'm feeling he might be over here in this little middle area where they often decorate it for special seasonal stuff. Right up there, Mr. Mouse, we found you. That was a little tough, actually. Thank goodness I have 2020 vision. Got the mouse there, we just gotta mark him on there. He looks like a thumb too. Look at him. Oh, what, do you, what do you mean? Oh. Does he really laugh like that? You betcha. <laughs> Finally, let's not waste any more time. Let's go get this redeemed and get our collectible prize. There it is. All that hard work, all those steps put in, and it paid off. And in exchange, We got the Dalmatian, which I don't, I don't know his name. Maybe it's Spot. And then Marie from the Aristocats. Two of six and only four more to go. Only four more to go, another three hours. So technically what we did was just got two of the Downtown Disney game boards and then redeem those for those two eggs. But if you want to get all six, you can technically get any combination of the game boards and redeem them however you want, as long as they still have them in stock, because they will go. But if you just want the one specific character, they're technically only $10 each, and you can also get a key holder discount. But that's all for today's Downtown Disney Extravaganza Hunt. We will be sharing two other videos, one of the Disneyland Extravaganza and the California Adventure Extravaganza, so make sure to check those out if you want to see where all the eggs are located and what characters you can find at each location. But that's all for today. Thank you for joining. Make sure to leave a like, follow, and subscribe, and we'll catch you guys on the next Dream Park Adventure. Bye.